Welcome to part two of the ophthalmology lectures for University of Lynchburg Masters of Physician Assistant Study Program. We're going to um, quickly go over eyelid disorders. We're going to cover blephritis, chalazion, hordeolum, ectropion, and entropion. So blephritis is a common chronic bilateral inflammatory con condition that affects the eyelid margins. Um, the eyelid uh, skin, eyelashes, and glands. And the etiology is can be ulcerative and, or it can be due to staphylococcal bacteria or seborrheic um, issues. S signs and symptoms include irritation, burning and itching, red rimmed eyes, and the classic scales on the lashes. And the treatment for this is just use some exfoliating baby shampoo. If that doesn't um, do it, then you can add an anti-staph antibiotic ointment such as bacitracin or, your, or, or erythromycin. So as you see here, it's a picture of blephritis and there's the classic scaling or crust along the base of the eyelid um, where the eyelashes come out. And literally, if you just get a warm washcloth in the shower, put some baby shampoo on there and exfoliate that, that will typically take care of it. And you do want to make sure that you are exfoliating, exfoliating that area because it can lead to bigger problems um, if you don't, which we'll talk about in, in just a bit. So a chalazion is a chronic granulomatous inflama infl inflammation of the mebomian gland and its signs and symptoms include non-tender hard swelling on the upper or lower lid and the important part here is that it's non-tender um, this is a hard mass and it can cause vision changes if it becomes so big that it pushes um, on the the eye itself so the treatment for this is you start with warm compresses and if that doesn't take care of it, they can do uh, intralegional steroid injections. And then finally, if that you know doesn't correct the problem, and especially if it's causing visual changes, then they can do in, uh, incision and curatage, and that's typically done by an ophthalmologist. So chalazions are non-tender. So here's another picture of a kiddo with some chalazions uh, on both the upper and lower lids. Hordeolum is an acute inflammatory process that's typically due to a staphylococcal abscess. And you can get a hordeolum secondary to blephritis. So if that debris is not exfoliated from the um, eyelids, it can go on to cause a hordeolum, which in layman's terms, we call this a sty. And the signs and symptoms of this is it's a local red localized red swollen area that's acutely tender and it can either be on the upper or lower lid. Um, if it points internally, um, if they have internal ones that point internally uh, and it's inflammation of the mebomian glands or externally can be seen on the lid margins. So again, you start with the same um, warm compresses just like you did with the chalazion. And if that doesn't work, then you can add an antibiotic ointment. Because keep in mind, this is an acute inflammatory process. So antibiotic ointments um, would be helpful. And the two types of antibiotic, antibiotic ointments that you could try are bacitracin and erythromycin. Um, you can do incision and drainage of the um, hordeolum if there's no resolution with conservative treatment. Uh, and here's an example um, of an internal hordeolum on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side um, is an external hordeolum. So I'll to remind students that hordeolum begins with an H and they hurt. Hordeolums hurt. So that's how you kind of keep those, um, the hordeolum and chalazion, um, separate in your head. Entropion is the inward turning of the eyelids, typically um, the lower lid. It's seen in older people as a result of laxity of the lid fascia. It may result in extensive scarring of the conjunctiva and the tarsus, um, and there can be contracture of the tissue. And the treatment for this is surgery if it's causing corneal abrasions. 
And um, a temporary fix to this is uh, trying botulism toxin injections. So here's an example of entropion. As you can see, that lower lid has become lax and it's turned inward. And every time this person blinks their eye, those eyelashes scrape across the cornea and can cause corneal abrasions and then ultimately corneal ulcers. So we do want to try and get this fixed. Um, ectropion is the outward turning of the lower lid and this is um, commonly seen in older adults. It can also be seen as a complication of a lower lid blepharoplasty. And signs and symptoms include uh, Signs and symptoms include excess tearing, exposure keratitis, and cosmetic disformity. And the treatment for this, um, you want to make sure you're applying artificial tears, and then you can do surgery to tighten the lower lid muscles. So keep in mind, remember the lacrimal um, system that we talked about and how the tears flush over the eyes to hydrate the eye and the tears get caught in the trough of the eye. If the lower lid is turned outwards, there's no trough there to catch the tears, and so tears will run down the person's face rather than being caught in the trough. And then without that trough, every time you close your eyes, that hydration of the eyelid is lost. So you definitely have to keep these guys with artificial tears to keep their eye hydrated because again, you can get exposure keratitis, which then can go on to lead, uh, lead to corneal ulcers. Um, and so surgically, you, you, you can tighten that um, to try and reform that trough. So here is an example question, um, an example test question that you might see something similar um, on, a, on your test. A nine-year-old female presents to the clinic with her mother complaining of a, of a non-tender nodule on her eyelid times one week. She is afebrile and otherwise healthy. What is the most likely diagnosis? If you said chalazion, you're absolutely correct. Chalazion, remember, is non-tender where hordeolum is a tender nodule.